What up, and welcome to Inspector Josh Investigates TV. I'm Josh Paulson, and I believe that great stories inspire greatness. So let's reverse engineer TV shows together so we can learn how to make our stories great. Today we're studying Erased, Season 1, Episode 8, titled Spiral. Warning, spoilers for this and previous episodes are ahead. Today we're looking at misjudging. Why is it that characters expect reactions that they don't get? Or they get wrong ideas about people in their heads? Why and how do we misjudge people? First, let's define misjudge here. To assume something about a person that turns out to be inaccurate, and we assume it based on evidence. So we have three basic ways to misjudge someone or a situation. Number one, we get bad evidence. Number two, we misread the evidence. Number three, we misapply the evidence. Thus, if we want our characters to misunderstand each other, we need to have at least one of these three things happen. They either need to get bad evidence or misread the good evidence or misapply the good evidence. Here's why it's important. Misjudging happens all the time IRL and it needs to happen in your stories too. Not because of having to add in anything bad, but it's just accurate to reality. It won't happen all the time, but it'll happen a ton of the time. It also helps with misdirection and with mystery. Here's how it's demonstrated and erased. It's really demonstrated throughout the whole show, but for the sake of spoilers, I'll just focus on this episode, which is really quite far ahead anyway. Really, if you want to see this emphasized, watch through the whole show, but if I spoil the ending for you, I'll hate myself because it's so good. Although some pieces didn't shock me too much. Here's some examples in the show around this episode. Number one, we get bad evidence. In the beginning of this episode, when Satru gets the extra food from his mom, and she tells him, It's a little something extra, you know, if you get hungry before lunch. But then later, when Satru gives it to Kayo, she sees the note that Satru's mom slipped in. I put in all of my son's favorite things. Satru assumed his mom didn't know. She gave him some bad evidence about the purpose for the extra food. If he'd known, he would have judged her response when he brings back Kayo later, a little bit differently, probably. I was hoping you'd be okay with this. For, For a, a sec, I thought, I thought you were, were going to kick, kick my butt. butt. I did it again. Now why on earth would you think that? This is exactly what friends are for. <laughs> Number two, we must read the evidence. This is the reason for the initial struggle in the show, really. The police apprehend the wrong person for Kyle's murder due to misread evidence. Number three, we misapply the evidence. How Kyle reacts to Satoru's mom. She cringes in fear when Satoru's mom reaches for her head because of her own mom's abuse. She's afraid of Satoru's mom's abuse when taking a bath with her. She cries when she sees the breakfast made for her. In this case, Kayo misapplied evidence. She assumed because her mom was abusive, Satoru's mom would abuse her as well, which creates some beautiful, touching moments. Here's how you can apply this in your own works. Let's say we want Bob to misunderstand Jeff. Bob wants to save the world, Jeff does too, but Bob doesn't understand that and thinks Jeff is trying to destroy the world. How can we create this misunderstanding? Let's look at the three options we discussed. Number one, we get bad evidence. Bob could see that on the daily news, Jeff is painted as a villain. Doesn't have to be accurate, but hey, you know what? Depending on if it's this world where they hate superheroes or whatever, this could work really well. Or just maybe they just hate Jeff. I don't know. Number two, we misread the evidence. Bob saw Jeff destroy a fire hydrant near a burning fire, keeping the firemen from trying to put it out with their hoses. Bob assumes it's because Jeff wants the people at the scene of the fire to die. But it's because Jeff knows something they don't. It's actually a massive grease fire. This is kind of a ridiculous example, but I went with it. Number three, it could be we misapply the evidence. Bob has seen Jeff's older brother purposefully hurt others and cause harm, so he assumes Jeff is the same way. This obvious isn't fair. Bob is misapplying the evidence to Jeff that is truly only applicable to his older brother. So three ways characters can misjudge someone or situations that we do too. Number one, we get bad evidence. Number two, we misread the evidence. And number three, we misapply the evidence. And you can use one or more of these in combination too. With that, I'd say it's safe to say, case closed. Thanks so much for listening. I'll be back with another episode next week. You can follow me on Twitter at Josh Paulson or go to my website, joshpaulson.com. I now have a 50-plus page packet that I use to teach a story theory class. You can pay what you want to get it, and it is a really great resource. You can check that out, and you can also subscribe to a newsletter to get notes on this podcast weekly. Have a fantastic week, guys, and let me know what awesome stuff you're up to.